Hey folks, it's Ben. I'm here with our swing picker. Um, so we built it and that's the video I'll link to right now. So that's the construction of this. The only thing that we've essentially added to the machine um, is we did lay a uh, five minute epoxy that we got at the dollar store and just use this, you know, a Bondo applicator, just a flat tool and essentially spread it around on the base of the nails. And that so far has worked to keep the nails from turning. It looks like no one's moved at all. So. That was very successful. We did the top and the bottom. Uh, but now here's the practical operation of it. So we've run a little bit through it just to see if it would work and it seems to, but you go ahead and start cranking it in there. Um, it seems to work fairly good. Well, I should say. Um, found that hooking it on the swing here uh, is the best way to just come up, have it snare a piece and then slowly work its way through and it the orientation of the nails does tend to allow it to slowly migrate out of the machine. So that's working okay for us now as well. And so you take the, the clumpy material we're putting in uh, and you're getting this light loose product. Now, uh, that being said, uh, we might want to run it through again. And I imagine just like carding, you know, sometimes you, you card it twice to give it that extra extra footage but like right it's really clumped right this is really stringy awful stuff and uh the nails do a, a fairly good job we weren't too sure how fast to run or how far to swing and it actually depends on the style of wool you have like we had some shortcut stuff and you'd only go about halfway and stop and that route allowed it to to do better this is a, a lot longer wool and uh it likes the full swing how to come out and get this material here it's definitely something we're going to want to probably put up on a table and have the have it fall down into a bag that's common on youtube as well but uh so far it's working the one modification i do need to make um is a handle which uh i've got a round dowel i'll cut just to place it here so that's something a little bit farther away from the nails to grab um, the nails are intimidating but they're not deadly <laughs> uh, and at this point my little hinge assembly up here is working fine um on my, the last video, we had a little bit of nail interference. It ended up being that I, my swing was slightly out of a line. So I ended up having to actually this leg here, uh, you can see where I've redone two holes, actually pull it back some that squared the swinger up and now it can swing freely uh, and maintain its distance between the nails. So um, the design is working um, and we'll probably do a time lapse here and uh, just kind of give you the show of how it goes. If you have any questions on it, feel free. Um, I'll probably put this as the last video on Turbo 231. So if anyone's watching it on my Turbo channel, uh, head on over to Red Barn Homestead for the further adventures of this machine. And uh, we'll go for a time lapse here. And like I said, questions, subscribe to Red Barn Homestead or Turbo 231 for more videos like this. And we'll see you next time.